Choosing the correct compressor for your spray equipment is quite a process that can be a waste of time and money if you get it wrong. Different types of spray equipment require different attributes from your compressor. For instance, a gravity fed spray gun will use more air than a suction feed spray gun and so knowing the difference is vital to ensure you make the right purchase. Firstly, before you start looking at the different technical information, it's important to fully understand how the compressor will be used. Will you just be using one spray gun from this compressor or are there plans to run multiple air tools off it? Are the predictions for the company's future growth? And if so, will the workload increase in the future? You need to know the total CFM requirement of all your tools that the compressor will be powering and the CFM can be found in product manufacturers data sheets or brochures. After figuring out your required CFM, the next thing you need to be aware of is the tank size. Tanks can range from 6 litres to 500 litres, so it's essential to know what you are looking for. For the minimum requirement, if you multiply the required CFM by 6, it will give you the minimum tank size in litres. For example, a spray gun that uses 6 CFM, the minimum tank size needed is 36 litres. Therefore, if you're using two spray guns, you'll need a minimum tank size of 72 litres. As a rule, the bigger the compressor's air tank, the better and longer your tool will run at a more consistent CFM. Because a larger air tank will be depleted less often than a smaller tank, it's worth investing in a large enough tank to complete the job you have in mind. For example, even though a spray gun will work with a small 6 litre compressor, it will only work in short bursts. 6 litres will be plenty for spraying the body of a guitar, however, if you want to paint a whole car or van, you probably want at least a 150 litre air compressor. Another variable you'll need to choose between is if you need direct drive, belt drive or screw compressors. Direct drive compressors are designed for DIY, hobbyists or on site work. Belt drive compressors are perfect for industrial, larger setups where they are running for longer periods of time. Screw compressors are for very large operations where you need high volumes of air constantly. And also, they're extremely quiet when running, so ideal when located inside a factory. I trust this information helps you to decide which compressor to purchase. If you're still not quite sure, get in touch with our team and we'll be more than happy to help you out. If this video is of interest, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new content.